hello guys and welcome back so now from this video onwards we will start animating our player so in most of the games the main player character have more than one animator controller if you take gta 5 for example then the player character of the gta 5 game have different animator controller for different things so in this game we will be having more than one animator controller okay for example for the basic movement we will have one controller then if the player is holding a gun or shotgun then for that the player will have different animator controller and for the rocket launcher or you can say bazooka for that you will have a different animator controller so basically we will be having more than one animator controller in this project and having many animator controller can be good for the game as well because it will solve most of the animation glitches for example in some of our previous courses we have only one animator controller so there were animation problem in our game but in this project we will solve all of that issues so just follow me step by step okay first of all in the assets folder let's create a new folder by the name of resources and inside this resources folder let's create a animator controller by the name of player controller and this player controller animator will be for the basic movement of the player for example idle walking running jump okay so if we click on the player as you can see the player already have the animator right here it just need the controller so let's just simply drag and drop the controller right there so now it is attached and guys make sure that you created a folder by the name of resources okay make sure that the spelling is same to mine okay resources okay so we have now the animator controller right here okay let's just set this up if we click on parameters here we can give the parameters and this is the main area where we will add all of our animations so let's go ahead and add animation inside our project but for that first of all let's go inside the player okay this is the player character so what we will do we will simply create a new folder by the name of animations and let's open this up now in here we will add this basic locomotion pack okay so you can just go ahead and download this as well and after downloading extract this zip file and it will give you this folder then just simply drag and drop this inside unity right here inside the animation folder and if you open this up then there are these four animations inside okay guys uh, let me tell you that you can use your own animation if you want but i am using these animation okay so i will use these so this is the animation it just need a model to for preview but before doing that let's just select all of these animations like this then click on rig and change this animation type from generic to humanoid okay click apply because if we see our travel character right here in the resources as you can see the travel animation type is humanoid okay so make sure that you change the animations type okay of these animations to humanoid or if you are using some other animation then make sure that your character and animation are set to humanoid okay now if we click on animations as you can see this is the animation now let's just simply drag and drop our player in there and now as you can see the player is playing the animation as you can see now let's test out some other one as you can see this is the jump animation and if you check the first one it is the idle animation as you can see okay so now we have the animations right here so let's just simply drag and drop this inside the player controller okay so the first one is the idle and armed okay 
so this will be our idle if we double click on it make sure that you change loop time to tick okay so check that box right there after the idle let's add this walk forward right here okay and after walking we have this run or you can say sprinting so add this as well and then we have the jump so these will be the animation for our player controller okay okay for this player controller so with our animations added now in the next video we will give all of the parameters to it and then we will connect all of the animation using transitions and then we will add a conditions to them as well so with this done i will see you guys in the next video